Today, we're doing an Amazon supermarket sweep, and it's Battle of the Big Four. Morrison's, Asda, Sainsbury's, and Tesco. I'm gonna have 30 minutes in each store to see how much profit I can make when reselling these items on Amazon. Hello everyone and welcome back to Source to Store. We're kicking off a new series today where we'll be comparing different shops for retail arbitrage opportunities for you to resell on Amazon's marketplace. Now, we know that reselling has become a dirty word these days, but we like to think there's a sweet spot where you can make plenty of money without emptying the shelves and leaving no stock for the everyday shopper. Most of the products we buy are everyday items which a certain group of people are clearly happy paying above the odds for just to take advantage of Amazon Prime's next day delivery. We're not out here robbing kids of the opportunity to try trendy new drinks such as KSI and Logan Paul's Prime, or clearing the shelves of heated blankets and air fryers during a national bill crisis. Anyway, disclaimers out the way, let's get into the video. Good morning everyone, it is supermarket sweep time. We are gonna go around all of the main supermarkets today. Let's have some fun and see how much money we can make over the next few hours. To make sure the trips to each individual supermarket are worth it, I have a few things that I'll just grab a few of every time. But today we are at Sainsbury's. Always go for the self-scans wherever you go. Makes life a bit easier and people leave you alone a little bit more. Every Amazon seller knows exactly where to start. It's the toys. This is one of the things I'm coming in consistently to get at the moment, as you can see here. Okay, in the Nivea section now, there's a few things I'll buy here. I'll buy a few of these Nivea Energies and a few of these Nivea Sports to put in a multi-pack. And then the other one I want is these Nivea Sensitive 400 mils. Thanks very much. Tesco! There you go, there's the total haul from Tesco going in the back of the van now. So one successful sourcing trip down and it's time to review the products we've got, add up the cost and check the potential profit for each of these items before we declare one supermarket the overall winner. So in Asda we picked up a few items. One Nivea Men's shower gel six pack. Two Nivea hand creams. Nine VO5 damaged hair coconut oil sets. And four Pokemon water bottles. Total spend, 56 pounds, 25 pence. Total potential profit, 49 pounds, 69 pence. Next up on the list was Sainsbury's. Six Vaseline lip balms. Three Nivea shower gel duo packs. One Nivea men's shower gel six pack. Five Kiwi shoe polishing brush. Two Valida spin mops. Total spend £65.90. Total potential profit £40.22. In Tesco, we purchased one Dove Tan Mousse six pack, one Nivea Men Shower Gel six pack, two Dove Tan Lotion three pack, and six L'Oreal Million Lashes Mascara. Total spend £61.44. Total potential profit £38.50. And last but not least, Morrison's. One. Cadbury Curly Whirly 48 pack, three Airwick Refill 6 pack, three Garnier Conditioner and Shampoo Combos. Total spend £37.50, total potential profit £36.54. So then, after calculating the return on investment, it's safe to say the winner surprised me. The percentages are as follows, 88.33%. 61.03%, 62.66%, 97.44%, the winner is, drumroll please, Morrison's. So there we have it guys, all four of the big supermarkets can be a great place to pick up some extra sauce for your Amazon FBA store. Obviously this is only as scalable as you make it. You could buy some extra bits and bobs when you're out doing your weekly shop, or you could go to all of the supermarkets once or twice a week and see what you get. It's really up to you. Let us know which shops you'd like us to compare on our next sourcing trip, either in the comments below or on our socials. Thank you for watching guys, take care and we'll catch you next time.